guy here. I want to talk about a common problem that plagues automatic watch wearers. They may not even be aware of what's causing the problem and it may prompt them to take their watch to a watchmaker and or send it back to the manufacturer for a potentially costly repair. Now there's a common problem and the way to easily diagnose it is that first of all keep in mind that an automatic watch is not going to be very perfectly accurate like your uh, battery powered watch you get for a few bucks. It's not, it doesn't keep as good a time because it is mechanical. There's moving parts on the inside and they uh, and they, they are responsible for the accuracy of the piece. So one thing that you may notice if you've got an automatic watch and say typically that every few days or so the time's off by a few seconds. Well then all of a sudden within a few days period, two, three, five days you notice that it's off by several minutes. So that could be several minutes too fast, several minutes too slow, but when you see that rapid uh, change in its timekeeping ability, that's a solid indication that the timepiece has likely become magnetized. Now what does magnetized mean? Well, magnetized, if you're familiar with magnets, you pick up a magnet and, and things will stick to it that are metal. And likewise, if you've got a screw or something, or a screwdriver that's become magnetized, if you put it against a piece of metal, it'll basically function like a magnet. So what happens with a watch that becomes magnetized, and this can happen uh, as a result of interaction with uh, various devices. For example, if you're going through a facility where you use badge access to swipe in and out, those sensors can potentially magnetize a watch. Also, if you're around strong magnet magnetic fields, uh, maybe certain devices in an airport, uh, scanning devices. Some of those may may uh, produce magnetic fields. Well, depending upon the timepiece's resistance to those magnetic fields, that watch could become magnetized. Now, all that that means is that the metal components inside the movement of the watch become magnetized. So now they're they're like that screwdriver that uh, is magnetized, and you can touch to something metal, and it'll hold it on the tip of the screwdriver. So the inside of your automatic watch has had the same thing occur. Now the effect on the watch is that because of the magnetism, it affects the timekeeping keeping ability of the watch. Now it may sound really expensive. I mean, a lot of people are like, "Well, you know, I'm not a I'm not a genius. You know, can you know people commonly use the phrase, well, can can you take apart and rebuild the watch? Well, the 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 fact of the matter is, for this you don't have to. All that you need." And this looks really goofy, but this is a demagnetizer. And you can check out my other video on my channel where I explain how to use a demagnetizer. But actually, I had a watch. It was an uh, automatic Swiss watch, Bomb Mercier, and it became magnetized because I was close to a, uh, to a magnetic field somewhere. I'm assuming it was probably in an airport. But all that you have to do is get one of these, and like I said, check out my other video ordered it off eBay, I think it was around $10 or so US, not bad at all. Came from China, did not have a United States plug on it, so I, whoa. <laughs> so I had to get this converter that converted it from a European plug down to a United States plug and it works like a champ. So all you do, you can check out my other video for a live demonstration, but you plug this into your power jack and then you get your, uh, your watch that's magnetized, hold it over this flux, FLUX area, push down the red button and you'll see that red LED illuminate. I held it there for a few seconds and then I rotated the timepiece over, did it for a few seconds there. Ever since then I'm back to uh, what seems to be as good as COSC accuracy. And COSC, if you're not familiar, is the institute, the private institute in Switzerland that certifies watch movements and confirms whether or not they meet or exceed certain requirements. And I don't know the exact requirements off the top of my head but most of your big uh, uh, Swiss watches are probably going to say chronometer, which implies that they've been certified by the COSC. So you may be able to save, you may be able to save yourself from a trip to the jeweler, the watchmaker, or sending your your watch back to the uh, to the manufacturer by taking ten dollars or so and buying a demagnetizer and attempting it yourself. Maybe it'll fix your problem. Maybe it won't. I know it did mine. So 
Also, in preventative care, be, be aware of what you're around. And if you're in uh, an electronics area, there's a good possibility that uh, your watch could become magnetized. Thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to share this video with others. And subscribe to the Irix Sky Adventure channel if you haven't already. That's youtube.com forward slash Irix Sky. Y'all have a good day.